The genesis of Project Drawdown was curiosity, not fear. In 2001, I began asking experts in climate and environmental fields a question. Do we know what we need to do in order to arrest and reverse global warming? I thought they could provide a shopping list. I wanted to know the most effective solutions that were already in place and the impact they could have if scaled. I also wanted to know the price tag. My contacts replied that such an inventory did not exist, but all agreed it would be a great checklist to have, though creating one was not within their individual expertise. After several years, I stopped asking because it was not within my expertise either. Then came 2013. Several articles were published that were so alarming that one began to hear whispers of the unthinkable. It was game over. But was that true? Or might it possibly be game on? Where did we actually stand? It was then that I decided to create Project Drawdown. In atmospheric terms, drawdown is that point in time at which greenhouse gases peak and begin to decline on a year-to-year -year basis. I decided that the goal of the project would be to identify, measure, and model 100 substantive solutions to determine how much we could accomplish within three decades towards that end. The subtitle of this book, The Most Comprehensive Plan Ever Proposed to Reverse Global Warming, may sound a bit brash. We have chosen that description because no detailed plan to reverse warming has been proposed. There have been agreements and proposals on how to slow, cap, and arrest emissions, and there are international commitments to prevent global temperature increases from exceeding 2 degrees centigrade over pre-industrial levels. 195 nations have made extraordinary progress in coming together to acknowledge that we have a momentum civilizational crisis on our earthly doorstep and have created national plans of action. The UN's Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change, IPCC, has completed the most significant scientific study in the history of humankind and continues to refine the science, expand the research, and extend our grasp of one of the most complex systems imaginable. However, there is, as yet, no roadmap that goes beyond slowing or stopping emissions.